send you this message uh, for the presentation of the Expo Rome 2030 logo in the beautiful setting of the Italian Pavilion at Expo Dubai. The Italian Prime Minister Mario Draghi has officially submitted the candidacy of the city of Rome to host the 2030 World Expo from 25th of April 25th of October under the theme People and Territories, Urban Regeneration, Inclusion and Innovation. The Italian government, the city of Rome, its citizens, the private sector and the academic and scientific community are committed to embarking on this journey, which I hope will lead us to achieve a wide support and the election in the BIE General Assembly. The idea at the basis of our candidature is to work with our partners on a comprehensive plan in order to reach 2030 with shared and valuable projects. We rely on the contribution of all to give life to innovative projects in line with the United Nations 2030 agenda and with the needs of an interconnected and in the interdependent world. The theme of Expo Rome 2030 centers on people and territories. World's heritage is made of many diverse traditions and cultures. Such a unique social, cultural and economic landscape makes it hard to conceive a unified model of the city of the future. At the same time, cities are flourishing around the world. According to the United Nations, urban population grows by over 6 million people each month. By 2050, two-thirds of the world's population will live in cities. While urban space is growing, a sustainable city cannot exist to the detriment of the surrounding countryside, which is vital to preserve biodiversity, provide food, clean air and water, and fight climate change. For this reason, we decided to focus on the need to regenerate our territories according to the principles of the green and digital transitions. Industrialization and globalization have been often accompanied by the progressive undervaluation of local and rural environment. It is key to relaunch on new basis the alliance between cities and their surrounding areas to renew the bond between people and their territories. We need a strategic plan to restore the harmony between urban and massively inhabited areas and the natural environment surrounding the cities. Rome is a city that has reinvented itself throughout its 28 centuries of history. Human activity transformed the urban fabric, providing the city with an extraordinary dynamism. Rome has a long-standing tradition of being open, universalistic and inclusive. It has one of the largest green belts in the world and a very deep connection with the countryside. Today, Rome displays a virtuous balance between a modern urban design and the environment. A new vision for a city of the future can start once again from Rome and propagate to neighboring countries. In the same way, Roman roads were built and still connect Italy to Europe and the Mediterranean basin. Rome is a unique city, sustainable by definition considering its long history. A city where beauty connects with the needs of a modern urban area and the city itself and the surrounding countryside combine in harmony. It is a place where past and future are strongly interconnected as testified by its scientific and technological district which is among the most advanced in the world. Universities, accelerators, startups based in Rome as well as the Italian National Innovation Fund all will actively participate to make Expo 2030 the perfect framework to display the application of most innovative technologies to an historical city. In the coming months, the BYE General Assembly will evaluate the applications and the qualified projects of the competing cities. I'm confident that you will pay special attention to the candidature of Rome, 
a city eager to start this challenge and enthusiastic to offer its unique qualities and outstanding assets on the historical moment in 2030, marking the centenary of the Bureau International des Expositions. Thank you very much.